Hello Witch Tim Games here once again and in this video we are going to make the gameplay feel a lot better. So for example now when we are sliding and we press the space you can see this looks super weird. It is not supposed to look like this. Okay so we will fix that and also when we are jumping so basically we are in the air and we press down um, we will have to be already landed to the ground to slide. So if we press the uh, down key two times when we are in the air like this, he will not slide. So yeah, let's fix that also. So let's go to the BB third person character. Okay, and let's go to the event graph. And here where we have the input action jump. Let's actually leave some space there. Let's move all these other functions, uh, events a little bit further down. Let's this here. Okay. So what we want to do here now, we want to cut this link from it here. And we want to actually right click and create a custom event. Let's call this jump event. Okay. And let's move it to here. And now let's actually call the jump event from here. Like this. So what we want to do here now is we want to actually check if we are sliding or rolling. So let's add a branch. So B and left click. And let's check if we are sliding, rolling and not boolean. So if we are not sliding or rolling, then we can jump. But if we are, what we want to do, we want to actually create another variable. Let's call it jump after. Okay. If we are sliding or rolling, then we want to set this jump after variable to like that. Okay, now the next thing what we want to do here is that we want to go to the sliding rolling function. Uh, let's actually, no, 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 sorry. We want to go to the down function. So yeah, okay. What we want to do here now we are first checking that we, if we are falling, yeah, like that. So here on the true, if we are falling, we want to actually first check. So let's add a branch, B and left click. We want to check if we are going down. So let's create another variable. So let's, let's call it going down. Okay. So, oh, sorry, not like that get the going down. And if we are going down, then we want to actually create yet another variable. Let's call it slide after. Let's actually move this going down variable a little bit uh, more up to here under the sliding rolling like that. So if we are already going down, then we want to uh, set the slide after variable to true, like that. And if we are not, then we can add the impulse like uh, before. Okay, and if we add the impulse, then we want to set the going down variable also to true, like that. Okay, now we will have to add a another event here. So let's right click and we want to get the event on landed. So this will, this will fire every time that we land on to the ground. So here what we want to do is we actually want to, we will have to first create a another function. So let's create a function. Let's call it check slide roll 
after like that let's open it here what we want to do we want to set the going down first to a false like that then we want to add a branch and we want to check if our slide uh, slide after is true or false so if it is true then we want to set the slide after back to false like this and we want to call the slide roll uh, actually we can do it yet so we will have to create uh, Oh, sorry, let's go to the, back to the event graph. And here on this sliding, oh, sorry, it's called sliding rolling. Okay, so let's go back here. So after this, if the slide after is true, we will set it back to false. And after that, we want to call the sliding rolling function. Okay, like that. Let's compile and save all. Now, let's go back to the event graph. And... Here on the event on landed, we want to just call that check slide roll after, like that. Okay. One more thing that we have to create is we want to actually create yet another function. Let's call it check jump after, like that. And here on this function we want to also add a branch and to the branch we want to connect the jump after we want to check if we want to jump after of course and if we want then we want to set it back to false like that and after that we want to call the jump function so jump uh, jump event sorry like that okay now we can close this and close this here on the event graph, what we want to do next is we actually have to go to our jump function. Ah, sorry, sliding rolling function. Here, after the play montage on the event completed or the montage completed, we are, have set the sliding rolling back to false. And after that, we want to just call the check jump after function. So let's see, let's compile, let's save all, and let's try and see what happens. So now, okay, this is lacking for some reason. Okay, I got it working. So when we are sliding and we press jump, let's see, it will jump after. And we can later on make this look and feel a lot better, but now it's working. And also now, when we are in the air and we press down two times, let's see, it will slide. Let's see if we try to jump after that. So, yes, everything is working like it's supposed to work. So yeah, I think that was all for this video. If you like what you saw, please click the like button and subscribe for more. And yeah, hope you have a great day and see you in the next one. Bye.